Welcome to Green Wind and Other Home Energies. I'm your host, Scott Brown. There you go, about three or four nice, fine coats of paint. At the front, did the bolts as well, and the washers sealed all inside here and up in here. Painted the cracks nice and heavy, and we did not forget the ends. We did them very nicely. All the way down up into here, and we soaked inside here, behind here, and we painted the cover all nice. And there we are. One beautifully painted, four-bladed prop. Well, there you go. That's what you call 30-second epoxy. I had to make four batches to glue. Look at that. That's the stuff I scraped off the glass afterward. And stuck on these pairs of magnets. And I got them all glued inside. <laughs> nice view. Somebody bought me 30 second epoxy. It took me four tries to get all of this glued. There's what I scraped off the glass. Okay, these are all glued in. Next step. Okay, now I've got the, all these bolts cut off and I painted on the inside. I touched the side a few times with the grinder. And that makes everything. It's not the best coat of paint on the inside, but it completely covers. And the outside's a little runny and all that, but it ain't going to show when you get up in the air. This is ready to go on. These didn't work out the way I wanted them to. I wound up having to put the bolts through the lid and coming out and putting the nuts on the outside. Well, I can't double nut them, but I can epoxy them after I clean them up with a wire brush, and then I'll repaint everything. This hole right here will be capped so water won't go inside the motor if the wind's blowing the water right into it. This is purple primer for PVC glue and this is PVC cement. This is pieces for the tail section. This purple primer cleans and it also dissolves some of the PVC. Kind of softens it up and gets it ready to glue. Like I said, don't wear some clothes you don't want to get stained. And this is the glue. Just put it on nice and thick. Press your piece on with a little bit of a twist. Don't worry about the excess. That's already tight now. I think I pulled a little too much. Go ahead and waste it all over here instead. This stuff works kind of quick. It does take 24 hours to completely set and dry. Or overnight. There we go. Now you have it. There's your tailpiece. This doesn't really clean up. You can scrape it off and that's about it because it's into the PVC. Thank you. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Hello, I'm Scott Brown and welcome to Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Whoa. There we go. Painted the tips nice and black. And I got her mounted on here. Go around the other way here. All right. Here's the wires that came from inside the motor here. Go back to here. And you'll see that these two wires go to one coil, this gray and pink one here. And this red, oops, yeah, this red one and this purple one is going to the other diode bridge right here. I have both of the positives hooked together and going out and both of the negatives hooked together and going out. And that's how that goes. I got it set all the way over back here in between this piece and this piece and tied up, pulled it, winched it up nice and tight. I'll probably put some epoxy on that and this will keep it all the way away from these over here. Okay, as you can see, the long pipe going out this way, this is 
just actually I got the main pipe coming down sliding into it and this is my yaw bearing okay and I have the other piece into the clamp I still have to weld here and here because that keeps it from tilting this way which I want this where it is from here forward I don't have to because my blades are ro rotating clockwise which tightens all of this I've got it pretty snug here and here is very important this keeps the tail at the right angle and these two joints right here and here have to be uh, welded. Now here's the tailpiece sliding off and back on. I'll give you a detailed view of the tailpiece. There we are. And that hinges like this and like this. And this is what allows it to furl out of the wind, the angle that it's set on. And there's my three batteries all set up, uh, ready to do the tack welds. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. We are finally finished. I have tack welded here, and I tack welded here, which you can't see, and here, and I tack welded here, and I've tack welded right here, and I tack welded here, and I have finished the furling mechanism. He said, make it original, so I did. It's the fan blade. Why not? Anyway, and that slides on her, and this is the yaw bearing. This is what it turns on. This is the pole that you uh, put it up on. The only other thing I have left to do is to tie this around here and epoxy my knot, and we should be ready. At about 60 RPM, I am right at charging voltage. I should be there at about uh, 120 RPM, but that's okay, we'll go ahead and make it a 24 volt system. I checked her out. At about 300 RPM, I'm kicking 100 volts. And, but it's not really kicking that many amps out, so the battery drags it right on down. Uh, cranking it by hand, I got it up to almost an amp, and I know the wind's gonna do a whole lot better than that, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be about a two amp system. And that ought to trickle charge or charge anything that you can get your hands on. Um, going, uh, if you got a deep cycle battery down at the dock and don't feel like running uh, 500 feet worth of cord down there or carrying the battery back and forth for your trolling motor, just set one of these up on your dock and hook it right on up to the battery. Pretty much all free except for the magnets and the pieces of pipe. The wood was free, the ceiling fan was free, old extension cord. $5.29 at Radio Show. Right, I'm Scott Brown with Greenwind and other home energies. <laughs> this is the uh, finished product. Looking at it here, you see the dialed bridge and the way everything is off to the side. You notice that the motor is not in the center, but it's off to the one side. That way the wind blows it this way, and see how the tailpiece wiggles. It's set at an angle. When the wind blows too hard, it furls out of the wind. And it'll still yaw in any direction of the wind, like that. But the tailpiece, that will set up to a full furl. And it's positioned like right there, that would be full, full furled. Right here, it's only partially furled. Now, thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy.